Hi, this is a quick run through of my first Six Degree Freedom Simulator made in Simulink using derivatives from AVL and blocks from the aerospace block set. So this sim is very rudimentary, very basic and what I'm using it for as of right now is to simulate this glider which is very simple hand launch glider elevator rudder only and I'm going to be building it in the next few weeks. So the simulator itself, it takes an input from a joystick, mixes it to elevator rudder, and the derivatives use degrees of deflection, which is kind of interesting because most stuff works in radians. And I added, even though it's a glider, I added a throttle to make it more fun to fly around so when it gets too low instead of having to reset the sim just boost it back up to altitude. So for the arrow forces and moments side of things um, the inputs come in as, as well as the body um, velocity and it goes into this MATLAB function where the, the derivatives are um, multiplied by the state and the control surface deflections and output and it's it's totally linear based on a single condition so the forces and moments that would get turned into coefficients and then sent into the, or the the derivatives get turned into coefficients and sent into the forces and moments block which Honestly, I probably don't need using the AVL derivatives, but um, using it for now anyways. And once the force, is, oh, and also uh, gravity. So gravity for now is just a very simple uh, constant vector transformed to the body frame. And those are sent into the equations of moment block. Um, this is uh, built-in aerospace block set block very simple to use and you just input your forces and your moments in the axes of choice and then you get a bunch of outputs and as you can tell I'm only using a few of them for visualization very simple using just the outputs from the equation of motion block into a pre-configured animation provided in the aerospace block set it's fairly straightforward to use and I'll go ahead and run the simulation and fly it around so here it is flying on the right and yeah it using a Cessna 172 for visualization but so so it looks a little funny flying around but it is that little glider simulated so what you can notice is when I turn First, there is a side slip, and then the aircraft starts rolling. And yeah, the controls are very sensitive. So you can see the side slip and the roll, which is which looks about right. So <laughs> that tells me that the sim is working at least somewhat right. I'm not sure if I use the right um, factors on the derivatives. Um, I'm still sorting things like that out, but overall, it looks like it flies about flies about right. And see, so yeah, I added the motor so now I can climb. But yeah, this, this sim is still uh, pretty finicky, especially since the elevator is so sensitive. It just takes very, very small stick movements to get it to pitch in all sorts of wild directions. And yeah, if I, if I pull up very suddenly, it'll just start spinning. And just a gentle correction can bring it out. Um, yeah, that's not supposed to happen, but I guess that's one of the quirks of my sim. And let's see, I guess the other thing is the condition that I ran it at, in order to simplify making the sim to make sure I had all the values right, I, I ran a case where the alpha equals zero. So this flies at a much uh, lower CL than for uh, thermaling flight. So that, so... I guess it's kind of hard to tell, but it is moving pretty fast for an RC plane, especially a, a glider that's supposed to be thermaling. Yep, that is a quick.
demonstration of this sim and hope I'll be able to improve it in the next few weeks.